We just saw the most dangerous animal in Grand Canyon. It was like two feet away. We have five kids in an RV and we are headed to the Grand Canyon and everything is going great. We just have frozen pipes and batteries that won't charge. That means we have no water and no power. That was a really long drive. Oh, good news is the batteries start working when we start going in warmer weather. All of the kids in the RV are with me right now and we're waiting for Adam to come back. He took the van to go scout out the area. Okay, I'm following Adam. I'm in the van. He has all the kids in the RV. They're all asleep and we just pulled into a campground. We don't even know these people. Are we going to wake them up and be like, hey, can we have a campground or what? <sighs> Yay, we found a spot. My prayer was answered. So dirt did not disappoint again at finding us a dispersed camp spot at midnight at the Grand Canyon, freezing cold, but check it out. Nice. Very nice. All the babies are asleep. The water is still frozen. We have the slides out, all three of them. We had to push this one out, this bed one. I don't know, it was like frozen or something. Hopefully nothing broke. I'm excited about what tomorrow will bring. Just another adventure. Benson in his shorts. Such an awesome dispersed campground. Nobody around but us. Love it. Simon, stop pulling your brother's hair. What do you think, Ezra? You have to stay here. Have we seen any dangerous animals yet, guys? We first get some tips from a park ranger and decide to do the junior ranger program, explore the museum, and go on a big hike that will take us deep into the canyon. And then another point. We got our junior ranger books. Can you walk on the edge of life? Don't worry, I cleared tonight. Look to the future. Who holds the key to Grand Canyon's future? You do. I finished my junior ranger book. Good job. While we were in the museum, huh? Yeah. Jesus, so studious. Finished it up. Hey, Ezra. What? What are we looking for? The dangerous animal. <gasps> the most dangerous animal in the Grand Canyon, right? Yeah. I was thinking like of a bear, but I don't think they live here.
lit by such a huge and majestic landscape, to me, is a witness of what God can create. It makes me think, if God can create this with just water and time, what can he do with me? It says a little tail. The most dangerous animal is a bunny. I, I doubt that. The little, the little, the little. Wait, like, what if it's like this, like it's one foot? Oh, that would be a big <laughs> foot. <laughs> I don't want to like walk on water. No, we As we're hiking, we get a visit by a group of really friendly elk. I can't believe how close they get to us as we walk the trail. There is a lizard. <laughs> Be careful, there's lizards that shoot blood from their eyes. It's a thing. We're going to South Kaibab Trail. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And we've got all the kids. I'm sure we'll be fine. So it's super cold. This kid thinks he only needs a sweatshirt. This gal has a coat on. She's smart like her mommy. And this kid over here, he's like, yeah, I don't need a coat. <laughs> And he's super excited about going on a seven mile hike. Ezra, how do you feel about this? We're going on the longest hike we have ever done as a family. He's excited. One hike, yes. We've, we've, done, we've done more miles in a day, but this is the longest one hike we've done. Mommy knows. When we did arches, it wasn't nine miles, but we well, did we did, we did six, nine miles in a day. Yeah. Because we did a six mile hike and then a three mile hike. Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. Go. <laughs> yeah. So excited. We got so much energy. Don't go off the cliff. Is that the cliff? I want to know. It's just the Grand Canyon. Ready to get back? Benson and Ezra. Ezra, did you know that you're named after an Old Testament prophet? So, can you tell Ezra likes hiking? He's like, this is the best. We're on a one mile hike that's taking us to the seven mile hike. That's the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Wait, get down. Okay, she didn't know. So, and that's why we have this kid on a leash. It's actually a ski leash. And then I had to add some more different buckles to it to make it at him because it was too big. Um, we have more footprints. Probably the most dangerous animal. Could be. Oh, go wow. I think I want to go with the elk. Was there like, no, 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 Oh, yeah, I guess it could be elk. I would not want to come Maybe head to Maybe two snakes that keep well, going like, <laughs> no. Here at the Grand Canyon National Park, there are millions of years of missing rock. And scientists are baffled. They don't know where it went. That is called an unconformity where rock was either eroded away or was melted away or just, just disappeared. Heart. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Everywhere it's just a cliff, but they find these little places like this where they can make trails down to like where they can, you know, put the trails in like the trees. Do so you think someone really smart, clever created this trail? Hi Benson, hi Marie. 
Marie, turn and wave at me. There you are, she looks so small. Is that better? Is that better? Can you say cheese? Smile? I think that over there is the trail, you see? That's the trail? That's, at least that's where I'm going. Yeah, it seems like the trail goes around there and then down there. And then oh yeah, I can see it. Can you see the trail? That's where we're headed. Marie found more clues? Yeah. Join us on next week's episode by clicking the video on the left to find out if our pipes finally defrost and see us encounter the most dangerous animal in the Grand Canyon.